truth be told, I didn't actually enter the quest myself, so to speak. I mean, I filled out the application, but you know, my hand got put up for me by my Leo advisor. Uh, I had heard about the quest about six months prior and decided that it wasn't for me because, you know, I was at school still and I was still starting up my own Leo club, the GPK Leos, as the charter president. Um, I had other work on the side with my job and then soon after it was uni work so I just didn't think I had enough time to do it and I had a lot of stress on my plate as it was so I just thought no someone else can do a better job, someone with more experience and knowledge about the program. Um, and then you know I was booked to go to Proserpine for the Queensland State Leo camp uh, which was last year. And I was going to go anyway, and then about three days beforehand, um, my Leo advisor said, oh, by the way, we put your name forward. Here's your application. Fill it out. You need to write a speech because you're in the Leo of the Year quest, and because no one from your district entered other than you, you're now in States. So that was fun, and I don't think I did that great, but obviously I did well enough because I've come through and I won nationals. I've actually now been to every capital city in Australia except for Hobart and Darwin, which is really exciting for me because prior to this I'd never really left Queensland. Um, it was the first time that I've ever been to Sydney, uh, Proserpine, Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, which I hadn't been to since I was quite little, I don't remember very well, um, so that was awesome as well, but also a bunch of little cities that I would never have heard of if this didn't happen, like to, just to name a handful of them. Mollymook, Ulladulla, Terrain, Ararat, Casterden, um, Miles, Roma, Runcorn, Harvey, Mandra, you know, the list goes on. I had never heard of these places. And then there were also other places that I had heard of but had never been to, like Manly and um, Ballarat, Toowoomba, uh, and also um, Cabramatta as well. So, you know, pretty exciting stuff. I had a lot of fun. I met so many different lions, lionesses and Leos members across Australia and I also made international connections as well which was wonderful. I attended several lions conventions and different districts of Australia where I did presentations about my journey through Leos and how it's changed and benefited me as a person and how it's done the same for others. Um, I also held forums with Lions and Leos respectively on how to start a Leo club and why every Lions club should sponsor a Leo club. Um, I've also been going to national Lions management meetings in Sydney which I will continue to do so for the coming year. I felt that being in the, being this position people actually cared and were really listening to what I had to say. At some forums I was absolutely swamped with questions from Lions members and it was fantastic to see so much enthusiasm in what the Leos program has got to offer. I was also elected as president of the Queensland State Leos Council in the same year as Leo of the Year, so I was able to help organise and run the annual statewide Queensland Leos camp with other Leos from my club and district. It was a pretty awesome camp, I had heaps of fun and now I have more friends who I'm really excited to see again in next year's camp in Rockhampton. Certain areas have a lot more clubs um, with a lot stronger line support behind them and I believe that in Australia as soon as we rally up enough Lions members to push the project forward and encourage it and want to implement it and be a part of it we will then get more young people involved who actually feel supported and wanted in their clubs who will feel more enthusiastic about stepping up and wanting to work hand in hand with their Lions members and I think we're going to see a surge in numbers because you know the past few years we've already had a significant rise in numbers in Leo's clubs and the next couple of years to come it's going to keep going up as long as we keep doing the same thing and improving what we've got. What I hope I have done most of all is made an impact, even if it was only in the smallest of ways. My main goal was to try and help progress the Leos movement in Australia to help us match our brother and sister clubs overseas in numbers. Australia has only just hit over 130 clubs nationwide and considering there are well over 5,000 clubs worldwide, we've got a huge opportunity to contribute far more clubs than that number than what we already have. And in numbers we have strength and extra hands to volunteer together as a family under the Lions banner. And I really hope that that's, you know, I've made an impact and made people think and want to be involved in the youth volunteering movement.